Tottenham and Milan barely defeated their opponents in the Europa League. Liverpool scored seven goals in the League Cup. Bayern Munich won the UEFA Super Cup as expected. Koeman is already uncomfortable in Barcelona, and Luis Suarez's farewell press conference was full of emotions and fire. Friends, are you still bored and haven't decided on a channel that would colorfully tell you about the world of top football every day? Here we are, right in front of you. Click the subscribe button and welcome. Guys, do you think Barcelona will regret transferring Suarez to Atletico? Or is it the right decision? Write your opinion in the comments. Now press like, because we are getting started. Barca will make one last attempt to sign Lautaro. Manchester United may lose over 100 million pounds due to coronavirus by the end of the year. Also, Man United will lose 139.39 million pounds if the Premier League season goes without spectators. The most in the league. The coronavirus had the courage to challenge me. A bad idea. Wrote Zlatan Ibrahimovic on social media. I want to organize a farewell match for you, Luis. Barcelona will always be your home, said the president of the Catalan club Josep Bartomeu at the farewell press conference of Luis Suarez. UEFA allows five substitutions in the Champions League, Europa League and UEFA Nations League in 2020-21 season. PSG will refuse from loan of Deli Ali due to overstated requirements of Tottenham. What did I do when I found out that Messi wants to change clubs? I immediately wrote him on Instagram about how PSG will play with him, said Angel Di Maria. Guys, we have another channel called Cyberball. It is about cyber football, and if you love FIFA or PES, check it out, subscribe and enjoy. The links will be in the descriptions, pinned comment and the final screen. Now, let's continue. I thought I was ready to move to a club competing with Barca and Real Madrid. There were many offers and I chose Atletico. Luis Suarez explained his decision. Chelsea have announced the transfer of Rennes goalkeeper Eduard Mendy. It is a contract for five years. It was reported that Blues paid 24 plus 6 million euros for the transfer of the Senegalese national team player. Inter wants 27 million euros for Ericsson. Premier League clubs showed no interest. Arsenal and Atletico cannot agree on a transfer of Lucas Torreira. The Gunners want to sell the player, Atletico offers a loan deal. Everton wants to loan Barcelona centre-back Todi Bo, but the Catalan club wants to sell the player for 18 million euros in order to buy Eric Garcia with his money. Negotiations between Manchester United and Porto on a transfer of Alex Telles continue. It is expected that the clubs will be able to agree on the amount of 25 million euros. Rumors about the swap of Dembele and Douglas Costa were not confirmed. Usman doesn't want to leave Barcelona and Juventus didn't receive any offers at all on Costa. Juventus is about to terminate the contract with Sami Hedira. It is expected that a club and the player will officially part ways next week. Cagliari announced the signing of a contract with defender Diego Godin. The agreement with the 34-year-old Uruguayan is signed until the summer of 2023. It was reported that Godin terminated the contract with Inter. Bayern have won four trophies in a year. To repeat Barca's record of 2009, they need to take two more. The German Super Cup and the World Club Championship. Suarez will earn 20 million euros at Atletico in two years, according to Nicolas Kira. 53-year-old Kazuyoshi Miura is the oldest player in Japanese championship history. He started in the match against Kawasaki Frontale and was substituted in the 56th minute. We didn't pass questions to Suarez. It's a lie that Luis cannot conjugate verbs, said Lorenzo Roca, a professor at the University of Perugia. Former Juventus coach Massimiliano Allegri may lead Roma. The new management of the Romans doubts that the current coach Paolo Fonseca is the right option. Ronaldo is a beast. It's incredible that he is fighting with Messi, being less gifted by nature, said Angel Di Maria on the air of Radio Continental. Chelsea's midfielder Jorginho may change clubs during this transfer window. Arsenal is interested in the 28-year-old midfielder, according to Sky Sports. Inter showed third kid with video in FIFA 21.
Bartomeu will be one of the greatest presidents of Barca. History will prove him right, said Atletico's president Enrique Cerezo. Guys, yesterday a number of interesting games took place. The results are on your screens. And now, let's switch to the main news of the episode. Let's start with the Europa League qualification. Our attention will be focused on two matches, with the participation of Tottenham and Milan. Tottenham suffered a little against the Macedonian Shkandia. The hosts responded to Lamela's goal with an accurate shot from Volmer Nafiu. Son and Kane saved the Spurs from the possible shame 3-1. Mourinho's team goes in the next round. AC Milan also experienced difficulties with a modest rival. The Rossoneri beat the Norwegian Bodo Glimt with a minimum difference 3-2. Goals for Pioli's team were scored by Chalhanoglu twice and Colombo. We are celebrating the victories of Liverpool and Man City in the English League Cup. Jurgen Klopp's team did a great show with Lincoln 7-2. Shakiri, Minamino twice, Jones twice, Gruic and Origi. For Man City, the victory was not so easy. Bournemouth responded with a shot by Surridge to Liam Dilap's goal. In the 75th minute, the match was decided by Phil Foden's accurate shot 2-1. Bayern continues to collect trophies. This is the fourth cup that Munich won this season. In the UEFA Super Cup Finals, Hans Flick's team had a tough 2-1 victory over Sevilla. The match started encouragingly for Sevilla. Rakitic earned a penalty kick and the campus was accurate. Bayern Munich leveled the score thanks to a great combination, at the finish of which Lewandowski assisted Goretzka. The full-time ended with a score 1-1. The winning goal was netted in the 104th minute by Javi Martinez. Congratulations to all Bayern fans! Your club is unbelievable this year! Barcelona head coach Ronald Koeman is uncomfortable with the situation at the club. The 57-year-old is beginning to experience some doubts and distrust of what he sees around him, says Marca. Koeman talked about this in a conversation with his friends. The coach believes that the management has put him in an uncomfortable situation in relation to the team. Koeman agreed to single-handedly make sports decision at the club, but according to the source, he didn't directly take some of them. The manager is concerned about how the current scenario will affect the players he will have to work with. Kuman feels that president and other leaders are leaving him defenseless to some extent. Luis Suarez said goodbye to Barcelona at a specially convened press conference. Messi, Pique, Busquets, Roberto and Alba came to support Suarez. The club president, José Bartomeu, was also there. This goodbye was very difficult for the Uruguayan. Luis cried repeatedly. I would like to thank everyone. It is very difficult for me. This is all unplanned. I didn't prepare. I want to thank the club that trusted me. Everyone in Barca supported me very well. I put in a lot of effort. I am proud of what I have achieved. I didn't expect anything like this, said Luis Suarez. There were also some poignant moments at the press conference. The journalist asked if Suarez blamed anyone for his departure, to which the Uruguayan didn't answer, but nodded towards President Bartomeu who was sitting on his right. I only blame myself for having played many matches with various injuries, said the Uruguayan. The most sharp one was the statement regarding Lionel Messi and his situation. You have to accept decisions of people when the management of the club says that you have to leave. But the club also must accept the wishes of the players when they want to leave. Luis, your hint is quite clear. We invite you to check out Cyberball channel. That is all for today. Have a nice one and good health. Bye-bye!